Good morning, everybody. Windshield wipers are making some noise. Well, can you see outside that it's snowing? It's late May, and uh, it feels like winter. But my winter uh, photography brain is still engaged. So when I woke up this morning and saw that there was fresh snow on the ground, I had an idea. And that idea was to go try and photograph the Canada goslings, the Canada goose babies. So <clears throat> there's a little local park here in town where there are typically uh, Canada geese that have little goslings with them this time of year. And I'm going to run over there and see if I can uh, photograph some of those little cute babies in the snow. And I'm going around construction detours and stuff to get here. But uh, anyway, that's my plan. Little baby geese in fresh snow. We'll see if it's a good plan or a bad plan when it's all over. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to try. I'm going to get out there with my Nikon Z7. And a, I want to be able to get it low to the ground and maybe use that uh, the flippy screen, the tilty screen, to put the camera like literally in the grass, in the snow, and uh, try and get some photos of these geese. I want to get eye level with the little baby geese that are that tall. So I'm going to use the, my, my tiny little lens, the 500 millimeter PF lens, the Nikon Z7, get as low as I can get, and try and make some cute pictures of Canada goose, Canada goslings. I guess that's how you'd you'd say that so uh, anyway that's the deal hopefully I'll have some footage and some photos to show you a little bit later all right see you later here's the little park just a little park out here nothing nothing special right I'm, I'm right in town this just happens to be where geese like to hang out in the spring and uh, have babies so uh, actually I see some over there they're in a they're in the shade of a tree, so they're not in the snow at the moment, but that's at least encouraging that they're there. And so I'll get my stuff together and see what else is going on. There's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff to explore out here. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. So they wandered right up to me here. I laid down in the snow. They came right up. Uh, I'm shooting in manual mode here. 800th of a second, F5.6, ISO 1600. And I'm locked in in manual here because they're moving through the snow, which is bright white, and the grass, which is dark, and the background could be light white or dark like it is right now. And so I have to be locked here on manual with the snow being just bright white. Uh, the snow is as close to white as I can get it without being blown out. And then no matter what the background does, these birds are going to be properly exposed. These things are so cute. And uh, the snow just gives it that little bit extra of atmosphere and environment. 
well, not just a little bit, a lot. It just really makes for a much neat, neater scene, a really cool scene compared to just uh, being on green grass. It's, uh, it's really cool. And they're not, uh, they're not too skittish here, so they just walked up on me as I, I kind of got ahead of them where I thought they were going to go and lay down in the snow and waited for them, and then they came right here. And then they're keeping their distance at about, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 feet. They don't seem to want to come any closer. I'm not sure if I finished my thought there about my settings, so I'm just locked in on manual at 800th of a second to try and freeze. They're moving pretty quick, you know, and I'm pretty close to them. I'd actually love to have a little higher shutter speed even uh, to make sure I get nice sharp images here, but I'm already at 1600 ISO. Because it's, uh, although there's a lot of snow out and that bounces around a lot of light, it's uh, it's still snowing pretty heavy, so it's actually kind of dark out here. Um, so, I'm trying to keep it, uh, trying to keep everything nice and sharp out here and uh, still keep nice, good high image quality with lots of fine feather detail here in these uh, these goslings. So if I start cranking that ISO up too high, I'm going to start to lose some of the really nice feather detail in these birds. So I'm doing my best to keep that ISO under 1600. So this is an example of uh, finding something to shoot that's close to you. And like I'm, I'm in town, I'm about 60 yards from the main highway here that goes through town and up into Grand Teton and Yellowstone National Parks. Uh, I'm about a two minute drive from my house. And so I'm usually going out and doing photography up in like one of the most epic places in the world, of course, Grand Teton National Park. And this is an example of uh, just finding something local that's nearby that, you know, most people, myself included, just drive by, drive right by here all the time, and don't give a second thought to what's happening in this little park. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that happens in these little parks: Canada geese rearing their young, and then just kind of looking for those opportunities. Like if it's a bright sunny day here, sure they look cute, but when I saw the snow, I was like, that's that's the extra thing that motivates me to come here instead of going up to the park, which would also be awesome today to find uh, big mammals and stuff in this snow but this is right by my house and this kind of stuff happens everywhere in little parks all over the country and all over the world so uh, there are these kind of cool opportunities that can be really fun and really close like you can come out here and do this for 15 minutes make some nice images and then you know move along and go to work or whatever so uh, look for these in your little local areas because they're there and you know there could be fox dens and um, you know, geese raising young ducks, like little baby ducks and stuff. There's all kinds of uh, opportunities to make good photos nearby. So uh, always keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, oh, I got those geese. Are... Well, what they're doing? They're like fighting. The little babies are like fighting. You better switch over to video for that. This is a good wrestling match. The survival of the fittest out here. I need Mama to get out of the way. She's blocking my view. There we go. <laughs> oh, good takedown.
All right, this is it. The little park here, uh, I'm done. So I spent like maybe like a half hour out here. It's hard to tell, time flies when you're having fun, but uh, got down, just, I just throw on some kind of rain gear, waterproof stuff, lay down in the snow and the, and the goose poo out here and just kind of wait and let those uh, goslings approach. And they did, and it was, uh, it was fun. So it was really fun to watch little babies uh, fighting and wrestling and just eating and being babies. Hopefully made a couple of cute images there. It felt like I did. And uh, so hopefully they're kind of sharp. Still testing the new firmware for this Z7 that's supposed to improve the autofocus. Uh, my initial impression so far is that it it is improved. Uh, to, I can't give you any like real definitive stuff yet. I need to work with it quite a bit more before I can give some better answers. But it does seem to be improved. And uh, this was a good little activity to, to really give it a test. Because you got fast moving small creatures at close range with very shallow depth of field. So if the autofocus misses at all, the shot is totally ruined. Because I mean a lot of this depth of field is like a half an inch or something. So uh, it's super, super critical for focus. But uh, anyway, I'll get back to that later on in a different video. But this one is just kind of about getting out and doing something quick, close to home, and still making some nice images. Most of all, having some fun out here. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, I am still doing workshops. So all summer long and the fall, my fall slots are starting to fill up already. And uh, summer, I still have good availability. So if you're coming out to the Tetons or want to come out to the Tetons, uh, click the link below in, my, uh, in the description here and visit my website. Learn more about that. Get in touch with me. Let me know when you're coming to town, what you want to work on. And uh, it'll be great. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.